What's up and welcome everyone to a new Murders at Carl of Matter standard video. And in this highly requested video, we're going to have a look at the current 75 that I'm playing with in Simic Cookies, my beloved archetype and my go-to choice for every like kind of like tournament magic uh, that I have to do. I mean, a lot has changed, not that much, but quite a few things here and there. So one of the main things that stand out is that we're currently playing a few hard hitting questions in the main. Um, just to give ourselves like a better matchup against all the aggro decks that are going around right now, like Boros Convoke, for instance, big one that comes to mind, and also um, a bunch of bat decks. So like Esper mid range, Demir mid range, every deck that kind of plays the bat. Because the previous version used to play Kites of Larcenist for copies. So what we've done here is we've taken out a Kites of Larcenist and a Case of the Filch Falcon to make room for two hard hitting questions. Well, the Larcenist is removal, but it's a little bit slower, so it's not that great against like something like Convoke, but the Kites of Larcenist also does not ever give us the card back that the bat has stolen. So a few hard hitting questions will give us a better like shot against bat decks with it in the main and also against Convoke decks in the main. And I feel like that's been a lot of what the current meta has going for it. Hard hitting question also can hit Planeswalkers. So you got that going for you against like control decks if you need to. Unfortunately, we did have to cut like a case because the case isn't that great against like aggro decks either. So something had to give. Um, and I felt like Case was one of the only like a bit more like flexible cards in the deck. So in the sideboard, we're currently playing two Cryptic Codes, which is basically for like the more grindy mid-range matchups or like control matchups. So I bring this in against like Golgari mid-range. I bring this in against Esper mid-range. I bring this in against like Blue-White Control. Some like more grindy games where you could really take advantage of like the bounce back to your hand and, you know, keep cloaking the top of your library. One of the cases that was normally in the main is now in the sideboard as well. So you can bring that card in when you're playing against like control decks or like slower mid-range decks once again, or something where you think that a 4-4 flyer could be a uh, super beneficial. Now, another thing that I've done is because we've seen there's kind of like been a true lack of domain decks. I went lower on a Tishana's Tidebinder to make room for three Haywire Mites because the Haywire Mites are pretty damn good against Boros Convoke. You could literally sacrifice a Mite to target the Gleeful Demolition target and make the Gleeful Demolition fizzle. Hitting the case is good, hitting the War Leader Skull is good, and just hitting the life gain in general is pretty good. But it could also be that you want to like cut Hard Hitting Question for a third Tidebinder if you're expecting a bit more domain. Um, I have a bunch of more like thoughts and gameplay and all that stuff on this deck up on my Patreon. You can find the link to that in the description uh, of this video. So yeah, we have the hashtag cookie gang over there and we basically do like weekly updates on the deck and like what we're working on. And for the people that if this is your first time seeing Simi Cookies, I have a bunch of other videos on my channel too, where I go in depth about like how the deck works and you know, how to get better at sideboarding. On top of that, my patron does have a cyber guide and uh, you know, also strategies on like how to get better with the deck, but keep it short, a little bit of a TLDR. This deck is basically just working with unblockable creatures a lot. So you have Ginger Bruce and Search Engines, and you have Agatha Soul Caller to turn your whole team into unblockable creatures. On top of that, you have really strong artifact synergy going for you in the form of Teething Wormlet that gets like buffed up and gains you one life for every like artifact. You have Zoetic Glyph that animates or like enchants an artifact and turns to a huge 5 4 attacker. We now have the case of the Filch Falcon that turns an artifact token into a 4-4 bird. So it's basically like a very aggressive, high toughness, but also great evasion through unblockable aggro deck, which, in, you know, allows for some crazy games with a bunch of lines and a bunch of activated abilities. And I would definitely say one of the absolute key cards of this deck are Agatha Soul Cauldron, the Weta Glyph, and you know, the unblockable creatures, Surge Engine and Ginger Brute. Maybe even Tough Cookie too with the animated ability, the activated ability on it. But um, yeah, this deck is my my child. I have it in paper. I play it in a bunch of tournaments at the moment. And uh, I'm still a firm believer. This is like my go-to deck for ranking up. These are, these are the current upgrades that we're working with for uh, Simic Cookies. So let's get into some gameplay. Always enjoyable. And uh, once again, if you need more resources, you can check out previous videos on the channel, but also my Patreon. Before we get into the gameplay, don't forget to like and subscribe as it really helps uh, the channel out and I would obviously greatly appreciate you doing that. And for now, let's get into it. Hey, cookies, version 5. Let's go.
This video is brought to you by Ultimate Guard. Ultimate Guard provides you with premium protection for your trading cards like their incredible katana sleeves, which are my absolute favorite for saving up my magic decks. Ultimate Guard has everything you need to keep your magic cards safe, secure, and stylish. If you're interested in getting the best sleeves on the market, make sure to use my link in the description below. Oh, hell no. How is not every deck in Alchemy playing Bowmasters? Bruh. Yo, Martyr, thank you so much for the five gifties. Appreciate you so much. Thank you, thank you. I got you. Yeah, I guess nerfed. Oh, that's right. I forgot about that. Okay, that makes it a bit better. Right, 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 right. That makes it a lot better. But they still got the ring. Or was the, ner the ring nerfed? No. I don't know. Hard to keep track of these things. Also nerfed. Oh. Well. <laughs> well. One mana to activate. Activation equals mana. Uh, but it's still playable, no? Nah, Martyr, like, honestly, they play in the game that way. It's a, lo it's a lot more enjoyable. Oh, brother. Here we have the Gleeful demo. Um... When do we get, like, slightly worried? I don't know. Reprieve? Land here? Reprieve, Reprieve's still busted, though. Dang. Is there, like, any busted, like, green Lord of the Rings? Well, there's some food cards in green, aren't there? Huh. Hey, Grick Chef, thank you for the gift, to Martyr. Thank you, I appreciate you. Thank you. No Bowmaster level of busted, though. Right. Gotta see if there's anything cracked in, like, green and blue, because we might want to play cookies in that format. Cookies is strong in standard. Cookies can be strong in alchemy. It's kind of the vibe. That's how I'm seeing it. Playing fishies. Fishy combo could go hard. Yesterday, a bunch of new all cards. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, this is how I'm going about this shit. Probably. I gotta come up with something. Some of it stuff, right? Or maybe like it could be that you just like have to approach this in like um. I guess I grabbed the food. I don't like giving you value there, but can I attack? Like, I want to be brave and say, yeah, I can. But then again, can I? I don't know. Lift. Could be gas, I guess. I just find it so difficult against like Boros Convoke. It's like, when the fuck can I attack? Like, it makes it so tricky. I think. I mean, they got, they got what, like two cards on hand? Three now? I don't know. You gotta go in at some point. Mutation pops off in fishies. Interesting. You can definitely look at that. Nice banger. Yo, Georgie! You had the Soul Guy tech in Chicago. Ayo, ayo, ayo. Thank you for the 16, Georgie, and thank you for uh, editing for the channel. I appreciate you. Hopefully you're doing a bit better today. Hopefully the trenches are, you know, getting a little better. Lethal Ben Monday. Oh yeah, there's Ben's and Restricted announcement on Monday. I don't know. I don't feel like it's going to impact standard. I don't think the numbers are too extreme in competitive events. Maybe Pyo gets hit. I doubt it, though. Pyo just, like... There's no way they bend in Pioneer. I don't think there's a way in hell they bend in Pyo. Really. Because, like, Pyo... Oh, God. Like, I block... I attack once, immediately go to six. Fuck sake. Feels bad, man. Yeah, I feel like nothing is standard to overpower. You just had like the pro tour and pioneer where like everything felt like or felt, you know, balanced. A new deck boom, you know, nothing's gonna happen there either. I have no clue what they're gonna ban. It might just be one of those like 
you know, it, it might just be one of those bend and announcements, like announcements where they're like, we got nothing to say. <laughs> they hype everyone up and just like, it's not, no news, guys. What was that like? What like not too long ago that they did that shit? It could be like bend and announcement. We got nothing to say. They might, like, they might for real. I feel like this is a Gleef, uh, um, Resolute Reinforcements and then my Brave Attack fucking murdered me. Please don't. That would be very rough. It is, isn't it? Okay. Meat Hook unbanned. If Meat Hook gets unbanned, you will get a stream of mine where... Six bottles of champagne. <laughs> six bottles of champagne. Party music. I'll, I'll grab my DJ setup. <laughs> Party stream. I got my D DJ setup with six bottles of champagne. And it's just like fucking meat hook unbanned stream. Party. The meat hook unbanned party official. Like, bet. I'll make that happen. Fury. <laughs> the Fury unbanned. Yeah, no, seriously, like, the, the celebrations that will, will happen if that happens. Suddenly we're playing Salt Eye Cookie, so I bet. Rix's anvil would go hard, like... It would go hard. Yeah, right, right. That would be the greatest moment. Like, how am I swinging in for lethal ever here? This is my current problem. This is not what I want to look at, my friends. My mind is broken. Someone in my office mentioned Shelly, and instead of my colleague, I thought of Shoulder. <laughs> Yo, Shoulder is working at your your place. Damn, that's crazy. That's crazy. How do I fucking? How do I? here it's like the opponent's gonna animate with Mirax right so then they could have five attackers coming in at me at least at two power so it'll be t they would be hitting me for six but they might not be aware of my little trickeroo that I can do with my tough cookie in a graveyard where I sacrifice my Zoetic Glyph and vibe. And I can animate Subterranean Schooner too. I I almost want to say, like, perhaps I bravely attack here. I, like, I don't know, like, you gotta find a way to win the game at some point. Is the thing. Assuming they're gonna, like, animate Mirax and swing in, I'm alive. So I kind of gotta go with that. Yo, thanks for hydrating, everybody. Appreciate you all. We got a new sub goal special guest stream. Ayo. Hey, yo, 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 who could it be? Kelly the Dream Hunter. <laughs> Work stalker. Makes her sound a lot cooler than she is. Okay. Mr. Beast. <laughs> Damn, how'd you guess that? Shit. Alright, they're gonna swing in here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do Kaitzel Larcenus. Oh god, this is bad, y'all. Animate Schooner. All right, you're catching the vibes. So this is a 5-5. Five, five. Uh, so then we're going to do... Just boat here. This here. Then they're hitting me for 2 four, six, right? We're going to go here. That's hitting for 9. But then if I do this... This... I 
Okay, so I'm going to go here, which allows me to sacrifice this for three life. There we go. So we go up to nine, stay alive, you get a discover. This needs to hit. Myth! Okay. Uh... Is that Glyph on Schooner? Because if I put it on Cauldron... I mean, I could still animate. Nah, it's Glyph on Cauldron. I guess. So I go up to nine. I take six. Okay. An Epicure. Mm, and more removal. Oh shit. Okay. We get the discover though. Okay. Yo, yo. This gotta be. Hold on. Hold it. This is... Wait, uh... Four power, so we hit for eight. We need to hit the Explorer. Oh god. <laughs> Do we need to hit the Explorer? Oh no. Ugh, oh my god. Whew. Gamba. The Gamba's working in our favor, though. Thank God for that. Cookie's clutching it. Yippee! Oh my God, there was a land on top, too. Shit. Yo! <laughs> unreal. Unreal. The dad? No, it's true. Like, it's true. We love that. Like, we love being able to think about our decisions and like, actually, yo, that was sick. I see June part two tomorrow, three hours, pray for me. <laughs> you got this. Okay, this is actually looking really nice. This looks like a solid uh, moment here. Little wormlet. Little keeping wormlet against the world. You left the P and what turned out to be a critical scene. Oh, damn. <laughs> Hate that. That's what happened to me during Nope. Oh, I lost like one of the, or I, w I went away during one of the scariest parts. I was like, damn. How did that happen? It did happen. Hey, Murex, let's not be a hater here, shall we? No more lies. Oh, it's rough. Because I really care about little engine. But I care more about not getting fucking board wiped to death, so I guess I just hold tears. <laughs> now, nah, nope was... Fire. Mm, I'm good on land, thank you. I will try tough cookie, because it would allow me to flip the case. Hold the case. Oh yeah, the pop the popcorn like bucket. I've heard stories. Seems wild. Is this a smite? No. March? It's probably a March, but they have like a board wipe and they're feeling like confident that they could hit it or something. Yeah, I'm afraid I have to stop that, Bestie. I'm afraid I have to stop that. Right, so we kind of have the intel that they are working with uh, at least a March. Um, I guess while we still have Cookie, we should animate it. Loki. Close. Dead. 
then again, March X is zero. Be pretty bad. If they sunfall, they die. I love that. No, me too. <laughs> me too. But we know they have a march, so they kind of need like ten block down here or like depopulate. I don't think a hag saves them. All right, we got him. See, like this is this is what happens when we hit the right side of the deck. Well, <laughs> well, with a land, we could be kind of gas, but nah, I don't know. This is a lot better. This is better vibes. Do it might be. Let me think about that. Because we could do. I mean, Glyph could technically go on engine, but also ideally no. Maybe we're just a bit greedy here and just gonna go about like this. Yeah, let's see. Hey, yo, double wormlet could be gas. Hey, yo. Oh god. Okay, this is the reanimator shit, isn't it? It is, I think. This is like this is a pog turn two. No, it's true, for sure. This is like Grixis, um yeah. I know what it what how it works, but also like I don't. But I I do, but I don't. Wait, what? Brotherhood's ending the main? What the fuck? Wait, what? Wait, why? Oh no. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. I won't lie to you. We're on phase. Yeah, <laughs> we gotta stay moving. We have a Zoetic Glyph. We have a Glyph. Right, let's swing here. Got the stone brain is screaming emergence deck two games in a row today. Felt good for me at least. Oh shit. That's pretty sick. Can you call it a crime target? I'm pretty sure you can, yeah. I'm pretty sure you can. Okay. You got the case too. They refer to your stream as a noob. <laughs> Yo, what's up? We'll try our best, you know. We, we we tend to be a little helpful here, but you know. Oh yeah, yeah, you're right. I need to get the glyph art. You're so right. You're so right. You're so you're so fucking right. With all the work that Glyph has been putting in for us, like we have to. Deadly cover up. Wait, what? What? With exile card from opponent's graveyard, library. Wait, what? What? Why? No, I have to get it for real. I just forget. Like I just keep going. Like my my brain is just set on like playing the game, weird, and I just forget about things that I'm, I say. Very often, like this prevents me from putting in like the right sideboard cards or some shit. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, I might be goofy. Um, and win if cards ain't pretty. That is very true. That is very true. Huh. Um, what's the vibe here then? Let's see. So I could do Larsenist, grab the scholar. But I could also just animate Kate. Like I could, I'll probably just do a bird. He went 13 and three in alchemy with standard Convoke. Was trying for the qualifier. Hey yo, that's a good record though. Is that like? I guess that deck is basically just playable in alchemy, isn't it? Like it's probably just like identical. I imagine maybe some like extra treats here and there. I don't know what alchemy could give that. You added Kellen to replace Epicure. Mmm. Okay. 
You didn't have the patience to read all the other alchemy cards. <laughs> I just associate alchemy with having like good removal in red, you know? Oh, what is this? Okay. Like that's what I kind of like associate alchemy with, like good removal in red. SD, not siren, not siren right now. Nor, 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 nor. This is not, this is not the vibe. Okay, well. Uh, we're playing 22 right now. I, I think, I think. Actually, I could win here. Hold on a second. I could win. If you whiff, hell to pay. Okay, thank you. Hey, let's go. All right. Even though, like, the glyph kind of, like, whiffed, a one drop was all we needed. I guess it didn't really whiff because it gave us the map token. All right. <laughs> what does Roots have then? Like, I have no clue. All right, let's vibe. Fighting against the reason God is boring. So what is it? It's like the reanimator deck, isn't it? Right? It's like the... Yeah. The breach reanimator shit. Thank you, Cass. Okay, well that was my fucking glyph. I don't like that very much. Grixis control basically reenact the crime and friends. Right. Snatched immediately. Opponent, anything they control when they're the grave is crime. Targeting opponents, anything they control and or cards in the graveyard is a crime. Ah, okay, that's kind of interesting. God, I guess I really do love committing crimes and magic then. God damn. What is that? Nickel Gold was. What the hell? What the hell is that? What is that? I'm so dead. The brother's end. Okay, that feels suspicious as fuck. Oh, never mind. I don't have anything to exile. All right. It's crazy. Oh, shit. I guess I glyph. Okay. This is like the second time in like two days that my glyph target gets zoetic. Like that my zoetic glyph target gets Odawarad. I'm like starting to get traumatized now. Like I feel so confident against these decks to like try and fire it off. And I, I'm a trauma is building. Messed up, not nah, true. <laughs> yeah. I guess we might as well like stay exiling their graveyard a bit if they want to like collect evidence. Um. Do I just commit here? I mean, probably. I mean, I could hit by, get hit by another board wipe to be fair. Hmm. I might just pass a turn. I will like animate the, the map probably. 
Okay. We'll see. All right. They just did a whole lot of nothing. <laughs> All right, bestie. I, I, I have to choose my own sanity there. Okay. Not sure what a win rate of the decks not being tracked on and tap though. I don't know. Not sure why it's not. Anyway. I don't know. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. All right, boat. I'll start with boat. Huh. Red aggro. Little old sus hand with a bunch of like these. The, the right three cards are sus AF in this matchup. Like, one boat's fine, two, no. Aldrin, meh. Do I ever, like, just glyph the boat? We're good into aggro. I would say we're definitely favored against, like, classic red aggro for sure, but you also need to have the right hand. Like, this is a bad hand. We basically have three dead cards on hand right now. It's not good. It's not good. Three dead cards is really not where we want to be at. Like, we're looking at hands where you have, like, Teething Wormlets, Sentinels, that type of stuff. That's ideally what we're looking for. Uh, what is this? Like, a Monstrous Rage, maybe? Do I block the Charming Scoundrel? Oh, it's just a Lightning Strike. Oh, okay. Well, just a. Eh? Well. All right, let's see what we hit. This needs to be big. The Siren. No. Um, little engine question. Save yourself, challenge. Okay. We might still be good here, though. We'll see. Not a deck's favorite favorite versus red, based on like well the statistics that I have. <laughs> like it's not as if I can grab infinite tournament results, but the few results that I have, the deck is favored. So. With whatever uh, stuff I have available to me. Like, we have... The Cookies is basically known for having a lot of high toughness creatures. And a lot of life gain potential, right? Like, we have Ginger Brutes, Tough Cookies. Like, we will always be able to gain life. And we have good blockers. I mean, what else do you want against Red Aggro? Like, the current, like, trend on MTG Arena is to play Slogur deck. So I'm just... I'm just armed with, like, Soul Guide Lanterns. <laughs> So then if they ever try to pop that Aftermath Analyst, I will like mass exile their whole grave. This is, this is just my own like paranoia. Kinda. Just want to make sure like normally the sideboard has an extra Haywire Might. And an extra... What am I lacking? What did I take out? Pierces, three mutations, a third tie binder, I think. Yeah. But, like, there's trauma, man. I don't want to lose the slogan. <laughs> I don't want to lose the slogan. I don't want to be targeted. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Basically. Basically. That is the, uh, the plan there. Hmm. Probably not this guy here. The grave, we can also hit a bit cauldron. But yeah, that's the plan. Like, Aftermath Analyst just wants to reanimate everything. And we'd be like, ooh, no, I don't think so. I'll grab it. No attacks. Dude, yeah, that's the thing. Like, the second I remove these Soul Guide Lens from my sideboard, I will queue in a Gurk immediately. So, not feeling too safe about that one. Yup, I was kind of afraid of that.
I gotta keep trying. Like, I don't know what else to say. I don't know what else to say. This is a weird, this is a really weird way of things to develop. Yeah, I don't mind it. There's just like, I don't know. See, I'm okay with losing games of magic. It's fine. And I even think Slowgurk isn't that bad of a deck. However, however, losing games of magic that have taken 50 minutes feels like time I will never see back. That's that's where my problem lies with Slowgurk. Like, you know, you if you if we take 30 minutes and it's a really close game and like things have been cool, fine. But Slowgurk takes 50 minutes and then takes like 20 minutes by themselves, and I just sit there. It just reminds me of when you had to like concede games out of um nexus of faith gamers it, it's kind of the same vibe like they just play solitaire for like 20 minutes and you just sit there like eh, eh. like those vibes whereas like i respect slogurg as a card the deck being like 50 minutes of like gameplay and then 20 minutes as your opponent playing solitaire like i don't know <laughs> i don't know So that, that that's my only problem. That's why I'm going like hard on it. Like I don't mind Slogurk. I just don't want to lose to it because I've wasted like 50 minutes of my time if I have. Thank you for coming to my TED talk. All right, let's put this in play. Okay, so there's something up here. It's either a monstrous rage or it's like a play with fire. But I feel like if it was a monstrous rage, I would have attacked. So I don't know. Is like Merfolk combo? No, Merfolk combo is quick. Slowgurk is like low as all hell. It's about like looping chases and whatever else and generating infinite mana and like weird. Bouncing Slowgurk a billion times. Let's just say that deck is um, a lot more efficient on paper <laughs> like sloger that sloger combo deck was not meant to be a digital deck like it was just not but yeah it's like people are like hyping it up and content creators are playing it so you know yo david thank you for four months it was not it was not meant for digital uh, gameplay right here Okay. See if we can get another uh another banger here. Yes we can. Fight failing to find with all the sacrifice land triggers. Nah, like you get it, you know. I got basics. Hehe. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna grab the furnace punisher, I think. Yeah, yeah, it has, it has. Safe to be home again, you know. All right, I'll take a lift. Yeah, so in this build, I'm just gonna like obviously I'm gonna I'm gonna swing here, but um it's important for me to like hold back with the two tokens because I'm at seven life, so the mystery of the field space heater. I was fortunate enough to get a new one. Like I just uh yeah, I just managed to get a new one, so I'm I'm good. It's not like too cold here right now. We actually had some a little bit of sunshine here today, like believe it or not. Make sure I don't burn into like ashes or some shit, <laughs> you know, damn. But uh, yeah, believe it or not, sunshine in my country, crazy. Damn you global warming, nah, it's, it's true, it's true. Being outside without a jacket on, that's crazy. That was felt good.
No, it's true. It's true. I, I might, I'm actually like planning a little vacation trip like next week somewhere. I haven't booked it yet because things have been a little chaotic and I'll be uh, going into detail a bit more at the end of the stream um, for people that haven't seen my Twitter. But uh, thinking about like doing a little self-care trip or something. What are you unlocking? Godric? That's fine. Cookie vibes. Yeah, it, it do be the cookie vibes. Okay, so Godric could go into the air with a Squee attack, but they would lose Squee, so... You wouldn't lose a Squee, would you? Okay, never mind, they would. Stalker Frenzy? Okay. A little, a little vague vibes? I'm thinking. Mmm, so that goes... But... This is an interesting spot to be in because I mean I have. Okay, we need to we need to survive. So if this blocks, if we if I block like this, I take six. There we go. Bam, bam, bam. Go to one. Might turn. Put a glyph on this. I haven't done the math. Maybe I should. I'm just assuming I'm good. There we go. The power of cookies. A solid 2-0. Hey yo, we got Haywire Might. These lands kind of suck though. But there's good stuff in here. There is good stuff in here. I guess I'll try it. I think I replaced a Dream Root Cascade or like a Hatch Maze. I felt like Cascade more often than not was tapped anyway, so I might as well put like one maze in there. But it's also like once again a little experimental. I'm not sure if it's right. Okay, please don't have Gleeful Demolition yet. In an ideal world, Haywire might get held up so that we could stop the Gleeful, but then again, the draw, that seems really impossible anyway. <laughs> As you can see. Okay, once again, opponent with turn 1 Epicure and a turn 2 Gleeful demo. What are the best or top 3 decks in standard right now? Oh my god, what a hand. Jesus. Um, I would say probably Boros Convoke, Esper Midrange. I want to say Demir Midrange up there as well. When it comes to like top three decks, um, to me, I would probably say that's the top three. When are you switching co mid range matchups? Mid range matchups. I guess I'll try Sentinel. I don't know. I don't. I wouldn't consider Golgari top three though. I still think Golgari is absolutely like it's a very strong deck, but I, I wouldn't consider it like top three. No, if this is case, I cry. <laughs> okay, it's not. See. I guess we'll play Haywire hey, Might. See, I would put Blue White Control in the top five for sure, but I don't think Blue White Control is. I mean, I think blue-white control success depends a lot on Boros Convoke success. So it's kind of like puts it in a really weird position, I feel. Does that make sense? Like if Boros Convoke falls off, so will blue-white control because like that's by far its best matchup. Like without Boros Convoke, there's no blue-white control kind of. Definitely like praise on that like super hard. So I would I would put it in like the top five, but... Also, like, once you look at, like, league results and stuff, you don't really see it show up. It can show up in, like, a tournament environment where a lot of people are brought, like, expected to bring, like, you know... Boros Convoke, but, um... Yeah, there's also a lot of, like, bullies for Blue-Eyed Control, and those are, like, showing up a little bit more again now. 
the meta is just changing so aggressively every time you look at it it's crazy like there's just no like who i control in the top eight of the recent standard preliminary just a lot of esper in the mirror range like things just change so aggressively dude like it's really hard to keep track of standard right now <laughs> yeah right right Things are just changing so much. Okay. And we got a cookie there. And we somehow win this. That's a whole army. But we have food. Can we talk about false soldiers though? Soldiers, like, I have no fucking clue what happened there. I, I don't know. I have, like, I genuinely have no idea why Soldiers is not played more. Like, I, it baffles me a little bit, because I feel like Soldiers has the right tools to beat board wipe control decks. But... I guess maybe it has an absolute shit matchup against Gunvogue, I guess, is what I'm thinking, like... Why are we holding back boat? Uh, animating, uh, tough cookie food. Soldiers ever actually tier 1? For sure. Real cast, real. Yeah, I don't know. I wonder why though. I think it I think soldiers might just have a shit matchup against Convoke. And I guess they're also just like catching strays to like all the nightclubber stuff. Like soldiers also seems that it would catch a lot of strays. Yo. Yeah. But then again, like, they do have a lot of, like, bounces and they have, like, lords and stuff to buff up the board. So, like, maybe not even. They're in white. I don't, I don't know. It's weird. I have no idea why, why, it's out of, why it's out of favor. Like, I don't know. I feel like it would still be a solid deck. Maybe we're supposed to play it and see what's up. No, it's true. But they, like, soldiers... Instead of where Convo does not have access to counter spells, soldiers does though. Like soldiers can mainboard like a shitload and like make disappears and stuff. Like I feel like they'd have the resilience against board wipes more than Convo would. But I guess they also don't have the high roll potential of like a turn two knight errand with gleeful demo. So it's weird. All right, I'm truly lacking creatures. I don't know. <laughs> this is weird. Um. I mean, do you just like start making moves like Mirex animate swing and boat maybe? I mean, if they ever took like Imidane, like I'm fucked anyway, so I might as well. <laughs> All right. Bonin plays it very safe, that's sure. Goldvog runs cavern. It is faster and more champion version soldiers, so maybe his friends good. Yeah, but it, it gives them resilience, gives resilience against Boros Convoke hate, though, is what I'm thinking. Oh, uh, I can kill, like, four things here. I mean, I guess I will. Why not, right? Boros was gone even before Convoke took over. He definitely, like, died out a little bit. But I felt like that was more because soldiers... I felt like at that point in time, before Convoke existed, I felt like soldiers fell off because they couldn't really beat Domain anymore. That was the problem for them back then because like soldiers kind of rely relied on like counter spells. I felt to beat Atraxa decks. 
But then obviously, like, we all know Cavernous Souls happened. But that was when Cavernous Souls dropped, not when MKM dropped, so I don't know. This could be bad, but I do have hard hitting questions, so it's okay. Let's remove that immediately. Immediately. So I do have a swing here with this. Version 5. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could also attack with Sentinel, but that feels a little greedy, greedy. Then again, it does have Vigilance. Why not? I'll swing in best and see what this does. Elsie has been soldiers fall off. Cavern being reprinted hurt both soldier and Esper mid. Yeah, and you'd, you'd imagine like Cavern, like soldiers would absolutely pop the fuck off with Cavern too, but yeah. But the thing is like, soldiers fell off because Domain got Cavern. But now that Domain is like not making many moves anymore, I feel like soldiers would go back up. I don't know. Matas are weird. It's strange. I, I have no clue. All right. Well, Bestia bravely. Mm, you know what? I might actually need to hold that up. Mm, I might need to sacrifice from. Hey, where am I? I mean, I don't think I lose to the top deck war leaders call. That's kind of where it's at. I don't know. I, I think I hold this because it could be case too. There's, yeah, that's the thing. Like, Soldiers is slower than Boros Convoke, but less vulnerable because of counter spells to Boros Convoke Haze. So that's why I'm like, maybe it could pop off. I don't know. Where are the believers at? <laughs> the soldier mains just falling off. I do. I do see it show up in some standard leagues still, though. It is still showing up in like, I, I think I just saw it in like a standard league. Um, I don't know. Okay, let's just create a bunch of threats. Commit rejects in general. Throw a post cavern. Use the best tools against the loss of best tools against the main. Yeah. Another land. Fucking hell. This is literally my 75k experience. <laughs> the war flashbacks. The war flashback is crazy right now. Yo, Kibler with the raid. Hey yo, thank you so much. Appreciate it. Welcome, raiders. We're playing some cookies. We're getting a little flooded, though, as you might see. <laughs> but we'll be good. I think we can find a way to get lethal here. I think we can. I think we just gotta, like, hit these explorers. Or should we have animated? Oh, that might have been the... That might have been a move. I think this does something anyway, though. Okay. The one and only Kibler. I think we're still, like, good. I also don't know what they have in hand, though. But... We buff that up. And we get a 4-4 four -four there. Okay, let's see what this does. We have Trample, huge 7-7? Seven -seven? I don't... I don't know. Oh, it is Resolute Reinforcements. Okay. Uh-oh. They, they acted as if they didn't have that, which is kind of smart. <laughs> but... Am I alive? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Technically, yes. <laughs> I'm an A-life. Uh, technically, yes. What do you mean with my...
Yeah, they need to top deck. One point of damage. <laughs> uh oh. This is fine. This is fine. I, I truly didn't think they had the, the fleshed in dudes because they kind of like misplayed based on that. I don't know. I guess I could have also made another attacker. So it's weird. I don't know. It's weird. I'm not sure who misplayed here. I mean, you're my opponent. I don't know. Anyways, they need to find a point of damage. Okay. Novice Inspector. That's digging. Now, I'm I'm just holding up, like, m a Sentinel for Might Sacrifice in case they get, like, a Warrior's Call or something. That's what I'm worried about. Okay, well, we're good anyway. We're good, we're good. <laughs>